Yeah, that's it. Just on me all the time. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and we can hear you too. Oh, cool. Well, since we can see, <laughs> since we can see you and hear you, we might as well get started. Yeah, this is not? quorum now. So, um, all right. So I'm going to call this meeting to order. First thing is to review and approve the agenda. I don't think we have any need to change the agenda. Is that okay with everybody? Yep. Okay, so without objection, the agenda is approved. General business and appearances, opportunity for any member of the public to address the council on any topic other than what is on our agenda. And it looks like John, you have something to say. Go ahead, John. I had a little technical problem there, but okay. I got literally today from the same folks from Bent Nail, whatever, um, <laughs> I can check. Uh, the folks we just approved a liquor license for, Bent Nails Bistro, who are the folks who are taking over the Langdon Street place, um, they screwed up last time and they didn't check third class. So I've got a third class liquor license approval for them that just came in. So if, if we could add that to the consent agenda, that would be awesome. Okay. I'm all, I'm all right with that. Um, yep. Okay. Um, so we'll take that up when we get to the consent agenda and other just general business and appearances. It looks like, I mean, unless one of you would like to talk about something not on the agenda. Okay, nope. great. Okay, so we're gonna move on then um, to the consent agenda. Uh, we have minutes and uh, yeah, it was their motion. I move. Second. Oh, second. <laughs> All right. Okay. John, you can figure it out. And that was and that was with adding that liquor license, right? Yes. Yes. Okay, great. Okay, so it is those two items. Uh, any further discussion on the consent agenda? Okay, all in favor, please say aye. 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 And I'm also going to vote aye, um, which makes it four, and it's unanimous, so the motion passes. Um, and we are on to set the tax rate for FY22. And I think we have some, there is some uh, language, I think, that's in the recommended action, which I think could be useful. Um, I don't think we need to have any presentation about this or anything. Um, any questions folks would like to ask about setting the tax rate? Okay, is there a motion? I'll, yeah, I'll, make, a motion. I'll make a motion that we, have, we approve setting the fiscal year 2022 municipal tax rate uh, at 1.1807 and setting the water sewer benefit charge of uh, two cents and the sewer separation charge of seven cents. Second. Okay, and so there's a motion and a second. Any further discussion? Okay, all in favor, please say aye. 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 And I will also vote aye, which makes it unanimous. Um, and so that, is approved um, and on to uh, their uh, the uh, uh, basically a, appointing uh, people for the ARPA funds uh, an authorized representative um, we have to approve the certification for the ARPA funds authorize um, a representative and a contact person and uh, I don't know if you saw this but down in uh, the first attachment, there are some recommended motions. It looks like we need three separate motions for this. Anything you wanna say about this bill or Cameron? No, no, this is just a formality that we need to do before we can send in our official application. Okay. Now, to be fair, I suppose we could make this all one motion. It just needs to have these, these three parts. Right. Um, okay. So, uh, yeah, is there a motion? Well, I'll make a tripart motion. Uh, okay. First, I, I move that the city of Montpelier accept its allocation of coronavirus local fiscal recovery funding from the U.S. Treasury, along with the award terms and conditions and assurances of compliance with the civil rights requirements that are requirements of accepting these funds. Second, I moved 
I move that we appoint William Frazier, city manager, to serve as the city's authorized representative as required by the coronavirus local fiscal recovery funding from the U.S. Treasury to sign the award terms and conditions and assurance of compliance with civil rights requirements by July 15th. And third, I move that we name Kelly Murphy, finance director, to be the contact person for the city's CLRFR uh, award from the U.S. Treasury. Okay, is there a second? Second. Okay, a motion and a second. Um, further discussion on this? Questions people have? Okay, all right, um, all in favor, please say aye. Aye. Okay, and I'm also gonna vote aye, which makes it unanimous, so the motion passes. And um, that, is the end of regular business. We do have the opportunity to do council reports. Would anybody like to do a council report? No, thank you. No, thanks. Good. Okay, super duper. Um, I am also going to pass and city clerk's report. Pass. Jonathan. Okay, uh, Bill. See you all in person on July 21st. Okay. I see you there. Um, all right. Thank you, everybody. Um, with that, we are done with everything for this meeting. That's great. Uh, have a delightful um, <laughs> couple of weeks. All right. Okay. With that, we'll declare this uh, uh, meeting adjourned. It's 6.30. Oh, see you next time. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Bye.